Y'all heard the man. This is your boy, Ghost Fighter 2 T's. I'm back <clears throat> with another informative video. And I wanted to go with a different spin on the cars that I get to you and how soon I get to them. I wanted to focus in on this Honda uh, Type R because I haven't done a video of really the slower model cars. I've been kind of focused on the more high power cars. So I wanted to focus in today on this Honda. I haven't really seen anybody really give this car any love. And this car has potential. Uh, is it the nicest looking car? No, but I think with a little TLC and a little bit of uh, performance done to it, we can make this car into uh, possibly a car that uh, can keep up with Lambos and Ferraris. So let's get right on into it. And today we have a Honda Civic Type R 2015 model. And we're going to get right on into the customizations. I know Honda always has some really crazy body kits you can do to it. Uh, it says this cannot be applied until the following items are removed. Wow. So they have like a, ooh, look at that. I like that one. Okay, so this, it says till the following items are removed. So it must be some type of uh, kit for this car. Oh God. Look at that. That's a nippy looking wing. We're not going to see through, man. Uh, I don't know that we want to go with that one either. Uh, that's not too bad. I like the one on the window. It looks different. Um, it's probably not going to be a lot of options. You see it has like a little window. Let's see. I like the way it looks now, but let's see. What other items? Makes it not look stocky anymore. Let's see. That middle being so open like that. I don't know if I like that. We'll go with this one. We'll go with this one. It's starting to look better already, but. Okay, I like that bumper. It has that look a little slit. Let's see what we can do to the side. Oh, so you can make it a wide body. Okay, that's stock. And that's just a little ventilated a little bit more. I don't know if I want to go wide body in this car. I, I don't. Man. It's. Ah, uh, guys. I don't really know if this car is worthy of having a wide body. We'll, we'll go with this, man. I, I really don't think this car is a wide body worthy car. I like that. I, I did like that bit. I kind of like that carbon fiber look down the middle. Yeah, it goes with the back. Excuse me, guys. I mean, that mirror kind of goes with the flow of the car, but... <laughs> He's just going to keep this stop and set that, man. This is... <laughs> We're definitely not going wide body. We'll go with this one. Is that fair enough? Yeah, that's fair enough. Okay. Hood. Why are they playing with Honda like that? Man, they gave this car the weirdest setups. Uh, the weirdest options for this type of car, man. So you can only put this bumper on. I like that one. I like, I'll just go with this one. Because it just, it fits. Let's see what kind of lights. We'll, we'll darken the lights. We won't do anything too crazy. I see a lot of Honda lovers will do, uh, they will uh, put yellow lights. Uh, all right, so uh, I think we basically did everything we could do. I do like the quiet exhaust though, so let's see if we can stick with having. Okay, we're gonna just keep the stock ones up there. Yeah, it definitely needs some TLC to the motor. Yeah, it definitely needs some TLC. <laughs> Alright, that's the more. Alright, so 
let's let's do the wheels and we'll get right on into the performance. We won't spend too much time. Uh, change rims. Let's see. Yeah. Those wheels right away look good. Like I go up with sight, uh, seeing what it looks like. The biggest wheels. chrome there and go with a black gloss because since everything on it is carbon fiber yeah maybe we'll do carbon fiber yeah we'll do the chrome on the carbon fiber we'll do that okay what do you think about that let's see calipers we'll do red calipers break this cross drill of course tires stretch them out oh yeah that looks most aggressive yeah that looks good right there oh yeah all right and it looks a lot like the the here i'll do the tires because i'm going to stretch I mean, I'm not sure if you guys are fans of the the tire letters. I think they look kind of weird depending on the car. Racy, very racy, very racy. Um, put this up there. Uh, what color were we going with? Chrome. Yep, we were doing chrome, and we did carbon fiber all all right now that that's done caliper brimbos um, break this we'll do cross drill all right i think that's it for customizing the outside um maybe we'll pick the community whoa they tripping on that. They really tripping. Man, this car is funny looking. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll, we'll go with that paint. It's something different, man. Something different, something quick. Um, some stance. You know we want to lower down. I'm going to go a couple ticks just because it looks already like it's low to the ground. Oh, oh yeah, we're gonna be rascal. Take her to the wall. <laughs> Take her to the wall. All right. Um, we did the body. Let's see what kind of performance we can get out of this car. 580. The 2.0 i4 is what's in it, and it can get up to with the with the right pro turbo, it can get up to 583. We're not doing that. We got a 1.3 liter Wickle. Well, uh, Wankel is 725. Then you got a 4.0 V8. Whoa. I think that that, that one's a 4.0 V8 sounds really good. It's a 2.9. Ugh, it's just not enough power. I'm sorry. 4.0 flat six. <laughs> 4.0. 3.8 liter V8 and a 4.0. I'm gonna go with. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that 4.0 flat six, man. Porsche motor once again. All right, guys, let's get into it. Make it real quick. Crankshaft Ultimate Plus. I don't think we spent too much time with this car. Ultimate Plus ECU. Coolant Ultimate Plus. Exhaust Ultimate Plus, and we'll go with that very close first Ultimate Turbo. Might have to change it, depends, but that's why we have a whole bunch of money so that we can make mistakes. Ultimate Plus uh, Nitrous is always going to be a 10. Suspension, track, uh, and Elite brakes. It doesn't look like they want these numbers to look anything like a supercar. 
we're gonna just have to take it on the chin. It's a drag card, just for the purpose of high, high, the high straight line. It ain't for going around corners. We just want to see what she can do around the corners. And they got an eight speed and a seven speed. Seems like the seven speed is always better. I'm not gonna lie. I'm led to believe that. Cause let's go back to the gearbox. Yeah, they're basically the same thing. Put two parakeets on it just in case I decide to use this car for some event or it's 400 plus. I'm thinking because of that Porsche motor, man. It's just over a thousand horsepower, guys. I think it turned out pretty good. That's that's. We put some TLC on this thing, right? Let's go take a four test spin, guys. Let's go take a four test spin. Let's see what she does. Let's see what she does. Um, um, we might be very surprised at what this car can actually do. We built it and we modified it to make it go fast. Let's see if it uh, fits the bill. They say if the shoe fits, wear it, so. Okay. Man, that's what the car turns on dime. Ooh, they got drag tires on them, man. It's that Porsche motor, bro. Tell y'all. I'll go a tick away from most and got a nine second quarter. And y'all know what it is. You see, I'm gonna take a little bit for the turbo to spool up, but one, ooh, once it gets going, that's a little peppy little bastard. She goes. Excuse my French, but she gets on down the road. Hey, it's doing 200 before I got up here around the corner. Wow, okay. <laughs> Man. One more time, let y'all hear it off. Ooh, not a bad looking car. It kinda uh you kinda get used to it looking at it, you know what I mean? Like a little helmet, man. Yeah, it turns on a dime, I ain't gonna lie. Ooh. Took a little bit to get up to 200, but. Two thirty-nine. She's hit Honda said I will not lay down. Honda said I will not lay down. Wow guys. So Got wide body on it. It has somewhat of a wide body, a little couple inches uh, here and there. Uh, that wing, I think, is pretty awesome looking. Um, yeah, it has basically a Porsche motor in there to, to make those front tires rip. And I think that's another reason why this car is a little weird the way that it is because those tires or those front wheels is front wheel drive, so it, it may not be able to handle the type of power that maybe a supercar does that have all-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive with rear motor. So it's a big difference in these cars, but it's nice to still put it together for you guys to get an idea of if it's your favorite car in the world that you can make it like the one that I have here. Uh, this is your boy Ghost of 2Ts. Make sure y'all drop a like, drop a sub. And if y'all new, and if you're not new, y'all already know what to do. I'm going to keep spitting them bars. And this goes out of two T's, and I'm out.